Oh, friendly greetings. This is Torley Linden, and behind my rather large sword, it's nicknamed the Slop Chopper because it helps me work more efficiently. <laughs> it's symbolic for progress and change. Today, I like to give you a tour of my island. It's called here, as in you are here, and here's how you get here. <laughs> Woo! You go to the map, and right here, you type in here. If you're already familiar with this, good. And if you're not, I'm, that's why I'm showing you how. So search, and here comes up. And the map tile should load shortly. I want to show this to you because it's pretty fun. You can teleport anywhere here, so to speak. So let's just double click. Or you can click in a single place and teleport. And now we're on our way to here. So a reintroduction, if you're not familiar with me or not entirely sure what I do, I landed in the watermelon patch. I'll have to get back to Draco later. This is an island of resident enlightenment. That's my job. I'm the resident enlightenment manager at Linden Lab. And my job largely focuses on, oh, a movie's going to play right there. I create video tutorials and I teach Second Life skills through these tutorials. I show what's possible in Second Life, both from a technically and functional perspective and from a more aesthetic and artistic and creative one. So let me just, I, I don't have to stop it actually. The sounds are off right now. I just got that muted. So right here on here, <laughs> if I draw back, I'd love you to come on over and visit my island because what it's all about is showing the process of how things are done in Second Life. And I really, really am a strong and fervent advocate of getting more Lindens to spend time in Second Life, of course, and be a part of this world just as you are. And that's why I'm here. Several ideas kind of congealed and I asked Harmony and concierge team to help me get this island set up. And then my wife and I have been collaborating on this. And by the way, some things are much easier to do in first life still, like waving hands wildly and going, oh, I want this there, I want that there. Okay, so I guess the movie screen changed. So let me get things started. Let me just stop that. What you're going to see here, we're in the terraforming land box because I know that, sure, there's some public uh, sandboxes, but to find something which, which allows you to terraform if you don't own land, that's especially valuable. And here it is, right here. What you can do, of course, if you don't know the slightest thing about terraforming, you can sit and watch, thank you, uh, you can sit and watch this tutorial and notice, for example, how on every screen, every tutorial station looks somewhat the same, and I have the movie set to start. But if I didn't, and I stop it, it will show on the screen. It's a basic design on Yes Play, or OYP as I call it. So it shows you in your preferences, you need to have this on, yes, and play it. And I've made use of click actions. You're noticing right now that the cursor is a play icon. This is because if I right click this, let me show the UI, edit, and more and general, it's set to play Parcel Media, the movie. So for your simplicity enjoyment, if you have it set up to play media like it shows, very simple, you can click to start the movie and it'll start like that. And then you can go ahead and click the chair, a single left click with the click action to have a seat. Oops, I'm kind of buried. I think that's because of my animation overrider. I do digress, or not digress, it's right on topic, that this is a work in progress. There's experiments, there's things that are going to change. You can click on a question mark, by the way, to learn what each, each station is about. It's a short text explanation, sometimes it's short like a haiku. I didn't want to bore you, but I wanted to give some context as to what it is you're experiencing here. So this is rather free roaming for your exploration. And of course, after I learn how to terraform, after you learn how to terraform, anyone is welcome to come over here to the terraform box, the land box, and then you can go ahead and then it's simple as right clicking and edit the terrain. And you can go ahead and either select the land or you can use a free brush, like if I want to raise the land and then I can go ahead and click. And anyone can come here and do this if you want to practice. It's up to you. Of course, I can revert that. Feel free to mess it up. Feel free to make it high or low because, heck, this place is a chaotic land of creativity. Continuing on on our tour, let me just put this away. And so this is the big screen. Now, 
I have uh, deliberately set this up so you'll notice that if you have view menu and property lines on, and notice by the way how exploring this, it's teaching you skills in itself because if you don't have property lines off, you can't see where the movie kiosk boundaries are. But like view menu and property lines on, and you'll see where how they're divided because this one, this Terraform one, is divided into a parcel all its own, which means as you start stepping up and sit there, it'll show you that movie. And of course, in about land media, each parcel can have one movie. Of course, you can get a scripted device. Given Gall helped set movie servers up for me, which I am configuring to have a playlist on. Uh, so this is the big screen. If you're on this main parcel, the biggest parcel, it will automatically show you the newest video tip of the week. And my, maybe by the time you've come here, you're actually watching this video. So it's a kind of recursion. <laughs> I love recursion. Drosted Vect for the win right over here. And by the way, you can pay attention to these coordinates. Or I do have a simple wiki page where you can see the coordinates and click through slurls to get through various locations. But I deliberately had it designed so you don't need to focus on specific granular sorts of maps. You can look at the rolling hills and landmarks and pretty much tell, oh, I'm on this part or that part. Hey, eh? yes, every July, Peas grow there. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, but it's funny. Orson Welles rules. And you can come here to my office every Thursday, as it says, at noon currently, Pacific time. This may change in the future, but it hasn't changed in a while. Come here, hang out with me. As you can see from pictures I'm showing on the overlay right now, that we have quite a raucous and fun office hour where you just chat and bring up your concerns and especially things about video tutorials and resident enlightenment. Like, for example, is there a tool that you'd like to know more about that other residents could benefit from? Could we set up a wiki page to share that? Should I blog about it? And then right here we have, I could label this better, but this is an example of the basics video tutorials for newcomers. So some of these displays, they'll change over time. And I'll just go ahead and left click to sit. As much as possible, I have left click sits. And in this case, you can click the movie screen and there is an easy touch dialog. Now this doesn't apply to all the kiosks, just a couple right now. I'll adapt it. And of course you can choose a previous movie and say, oh, I want to watch a movie about shopping. And then you can play that and give it a couple or so seconds. And we'll go ahead and play. And of course, if I have the sound on, it'll be like this. Friendly greetings, it's me again, Torley, and I'm here to show you how to go shopping in second. Indeed, shopperism, consumerism in the second life get some awesome stuff. And speaking of awesome stuff, I, I very, very much am enthused about having cool content on here. Of course, all the cool content I want to have is never enough. I couldn't fit that on a single island. But around here, you'll find neat things like cameras are near the snapshot tutorial. If you want to learn how to take snapshots, and of course, there's web links to the pages I set up. Because not everything can be displayed in world. If you want to see Flickr pictures of my explorations in Second Life, you just land here and play this media, and every few seconds, it will change. So moving on, when you step off a of parcel, notice also that it disappears. And I haven't seen a configuration like this before in Second Life, which is exactly why I want to pioneer, innovate this, and make it easier and show you the possibilities. And yes, it's not right to eat dinosaur. I might make a short tutorial about how to make a glowing, fun sign like that, because I've been using them on the island. Originally, I had smaller text, but I was like, I'm going to do something that's really torally, that's really simple and fun. So you can notice that there's other text <laughs> that gives you instructions, just very, very simple. And while it's true that it's only in English, I wish there was a way to auto-localize it. Nonetheless, I will try to make use of visual graphics, which aren't particular to a certain language. Up here, you have a beautiful kind of change. I, I call it, so you notice the parcels are divided. It's the Windlight Sky House. And you watch a, a how to change the time of day tutorial on this, like it says. Thank you to Ravenel Zugswang, my gorgeous wife, for creating this. She helped co-design this every step of the way. We had many discussions. It was really passionate, really. We met in Second Life. We fell in love in Second Life, or rose in love, rather. We didn't fall. We got better as people. And then we met in First Life, and that's how we came to be. <laughs> so over here, we have 
Oh, I got to make a story. I got to share the story of how this came to be, why I have all these hats. It's kind of a nod to the fact that I wear lots of hats, metaphorically speaking. But there's a story behind each one of these hats and bags along my Second Life adventures. I might have met someone great and gone to know someone, a wonderful content creator or a philanthropist, so to speak. Or I might have been in a cool new region that was opening up and I decided to get a costume for that. So you can see right here, this is all from these glowing poetry things. This explains why I like watermelons. And there's some, this was inspired, these thoughts and creativity were inspired by Brian Eno, the godfather of ambient music. If you read them, you'll know why. There is a subtle reference to his work. So of course, some of it is, is just for fun. Some of it is meant to just to show you actual wet examples, <laughs> literally, of content in progress, like these sort of flexi prims, which are in the water and they are set to flexi, so they look a little more wobbly or loose, like wet paper. And here we have a nice grove explaining the benefits of sit-click actions. If you're not familiar with why I love sit-click actions so much, come over to this grove and make stuff easier to sit on. So you can learn that way, eh? Okay then. So every step of the way here, it's really like the contents of my mind have manifested themselves so I can share that with you. And that's one of the most beautiful things about Second Life, that I have these experiences in my head and I can create them and then you can partake in them as well. So this is like my imagination. After all, your world, your imagination, right? And Ravi's building out an arcade here. Arcades are an important part of my cyber history. I used to partake on BBS forums and play a lot of classic games and get very, very interested in virtual spaces, which led to my job here at Linden Lab. Of course, I have a nice spaceship. Keep in mind, like I, I think I said before, that these will be remodeled and renovated time to time. Some exhibits will switch out. Feel free to try the Canon Travel. Lots of fun interactive objects because I love that. I love things you can sit on that you can knock. I might make some physical balls you can roll down like Katamari Damasi. Oh, and right here, if you want my toy textures, check it out. They are all free. You can use them for just about any purpose. Please don't resell them because, hey, why do that if you can get them for free? But you can use them on stuff that you do make like creations, like you make a chair and you use the twirly textures or a house, you can sell those, resell those. That's fine. There are almost 600 textures here. They're all seamlessly tiling. They're all free. Lots of wonderful wacky styles, but some more sedate ones as well. Like to the left here, I have these placeholder textures. You may have seen when you're making a build normally that plywood is not going to cut it because plywood, eh. so you can easily select all your objects. Like if I were to, I'll just create several cubes. And then I'm just going to head and select them all. I was just holding down the shift key, texture, texture again. And I believe I should have these. Placeholder, right? And you can select one of these, like if you want it to be vignetta. You may have seen this effect on other builds, and it gets somewhat easier to look at and, and use. Pretty cool way how it's shaded the sides. Because total white blank is, is can be tough on your depth perception. So let me just delete those. And I plan to add more goodies here. Some of the classic stuff from the past. A key thing of having this is highlighting content, example files that I show my videos. Like I say, hey, try this out. And I want to give you an easy place to go ahead and do exactly that. We got rainbows, we got sunshine, we got a lot of happy stuff. It's really positive. And if you happen to take a snapshot, <laughs> learn by doing, right? of here, anywhere here, you can send it to my Flickr group, which is called You Were Here. Here's what it looks like, of course. Go ahead and add it to the group pool. And I have more documentation on how to use Flickr with Second Life on the Second Life wiki. But whenever possible, I like to keep things in world. This kiosk here in particular, I think it shows one of my web pages because although interactivity isn't the most easy, I can show that, there we go, That's it shows my most recent posts on the Linden blog. Just the top, I know it's not going to show movies, embedded movies in world, unfortunately, because we don't support that yet. But nonetheless, just fun, innovative things to do. And nice to see that Cherry's Chandler looks like she's enjoying a movie. Alrighty then, I love saying that, because it's better to be alrighty than all wrongy. So, that concludes my tour of here. You're most welcome to come on over and visit here.
Indulge yourself in the creative possibilities of Second Life. Always know that I'm out here. You may spot me randomly <laughs> making stuff on the island. Feel free to chat. If I can't chat because I'm doing that, I'll let you know. But certainly, I love to have focus and listen to you and respond in kind. And that's what my office hours are great for. And if you think the times aren't that great, hey, let me know too. I'm open to considerations because things are going to evolve and change here in large part based on what I hear from you and fellow residents so you can help influence what's happening here. <laughs> it's just such a fantastic name, isn't it? And so you can shape the growth to make it more useful and to really showcase, from my perspective anyway, I didn't want to do a design by committee, make it all gray and boring. I want to have liveliness. I wanted it to, as it says here, amplify your awesome. So this has been Torley Linden, Resident Enlightenment Manager, welcoming, welcoming rather you, welcoming you to visit here.